Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Abs and pups here. Yeah, my baby is just about five months old. And she's here to supervise me. Yes, she is. Alright. My last video I told you we were doing something on the wall. So resistant. So this is really designed for people who can't get on the floor and do the upper body um, workout. Now I just did two videos on the chair. Um, for those of you who can do a little bit more and stand up and do it up against the wall, I'm going to show you some of the um, routines. Using obviously my good old bands. You can get these, just look up booty bands online, Amazon, and you'll have a whole bunch that'll come up. Same thing with the um, body. I like these. These are cloth instead of the elastic, as you can see. These are actually pretty cool. I actually did a video, um, put this one on my face to work the facial muscles. <laughs> That's another video though. It works. You can feel it. You can feel it. Uh, all right. So, I'm going to show you some things without these. And then, as we move forward to make it a little bit more difficult, then we'll go ahead. Alright. Get a good wall and plenty of room to work. We're going to be, we're going to be primarily going to be working the uh, triceps. These right here. and uh, the shoulders, okay? And I do, as I said in my other video, 95% um, of the time, my muscle that you see, it's from using my own body weight and those things. Right there. <laughs> so we're just gonna do something simple. Um, it's really kind of best to stretch your arms, stretch them back, feel it all stretched back here, and you hold it for at least 20 seconds. I've already did this before I started, but I'm just kind of showing you how to stretch. Stretch your arms, stretch your shoulders. This is another good one. Circle. Back. Reach up. Shake it out. So I want you to do that first before you start doing this. But you are going to really feel it in here. Okay? Right through here. The further out. This is when you get more advanced, but the further out you stand away from the wall and do it, the more body resistant you're getting. So, maybe count, um, maybe three feet, three uh, foot lengths. And you'll place your hands that you can see what I'm doing here. I'm sorry, I would have loved to have the camera over there, but not enough room. This is all home resistant. Doing this out of my home, not the gym. So I'm going to do a, basically a wall push up. Come all the way down, almost touch your chin. Don't, not up here, not down here. No, I am doing a wall push up. And I'm holding, I am tightening my core. This is all tight. When I say tight and squeeze, I'm talking act like a corpse. Like rigor mortis set in. Bring 
Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. I want you to do 12 uh, reps and three sets. And once it feels quite easy, peasy, up it. Okay. Now we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to, I'm going to do push-ups with my elbows in. Before it was like this, now we're going to do it in. You're going to feel it differently. Work it a little bit different for the muscles. Same thing, right about right in front of me. These are, these are difficult to do when you're on the ground. Even I have a, a difficult time doing them. The triceps are uh, one of my, my areas I'm working on. It's easy to build the biceps, but the triceps are tough. Now I can feel it all through here, up through my neck. Same thing, count 12, three sets, okay? So you can feel it, you can feel the tingle a little bit here. Well, um, once you uh, start to feel the burn is, I want you just to do a few more. I don't know what your levels are, but that's what you want to feel is the burn, okay? Now we're going to kind of do a side. Okay, now I'm about maybe two steps, two feet, two shoes, shoe sizes. Take this, take your opposite arm, cross it over, place it right in front of you. And then I'm going to come lean in and press. Lean in as far as you can go, press. Keeping this all tight and squeezed. I can feel this all up in my shoulder. All through here. Switch sides. Again, do 12 times three. It's a little bit, a little bit different. And lean back. Basically gonna come back, touch your butt and come forward. Can you feel the burn? I can. Again, do 12 times three. Rest. Okay. Now we're gonna do a little bit something with the legs, okay? So basically what we're gonna do, one hand, see the, uh, the right, and then I'm gonna take the uh, left leg and come in. Bring that knee up. Around. I'm 
going to come out a little bit further. Press up. Go slow. Touch. Press up. You could do this on a chair too, or on the back of a couch. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. You feel the burn, feel the burn, feel the burn. Shake it out. Grab your hip circle, booty band. I'm going to go with the light. Okay. Now I want some tension in here. So now I'm working, as you can see, what muscles are being activated when I press out. You see them? Through here. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wall push-ups. Just, a, just above the elbows. Okay. I'm keeping my elbows in. Well, I'm not letting it do that. I'm not letting it do that. I'm keeping it tight. If this is too easy, up it. Up the tension. I'm squeezing my muscles when I come down to this wall. Feel it burning all through here. You guys should be able to as well. <laughs> yeah. Rest for a minute. Okay. I'm going back to the light one because I'm going to show you one thing. We're going to work the side again, okay? Hold your arm up like this. And we're going to be pressing out, but at the same time, we're going to go down, up, down, up. You should be feeling this. Yeah, yeah. I can feel it all the way up to my neck muscles doing this. This is a little bit harder, I won't lie. Okay, rest. Rest, rest. <clears throat> For those of you um, that can't go to the gym and use the equipment to work, to pull, 
um, the to work the shoulders. My trainer showed me to get up against the wall. Put your hands above your head and bring them down. We're right here. Tight core. And then go up and down. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Do 20 of these and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Just try it. My ponytail is kind of in the way, but a lot of you don't have that problem. So um, I'm going to show you something and doing that, just kind of kick it up a notch. I'm just going to shake it out and kind of rest for a second. Just kind of rest for a second. I have a de degenerated disc. Uh, so those are some of the exercises that I'm trying to do uh, to strengthen it. So grab your body band. Okay. I'm going to do something a little bit more, add it to it, okay? Get your comfortable resistant pulling. Please remember we're doing this, up against the wall and coming down. Okay? Not all the way down like this, right here. Tight core, tight stomach. Suck it in. Come down, pulling. Holding it, come back up. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, it's a little bit hard. So go easy. You know, you need to, you need to just to maybe just grab one of these and do it. You can, you, you have control of it. So these things are amazing. I was very skeptical uh, before ordering these, but I mean, look at the definition of my arms. <laughs> huh? Crazy, huh? Believe it or not, this girl is going to be 55 in the middle of this year. 55. So, no excuses, 20-year-olds. No excuses, 70-year-olds. Come on. Yeah. And by the way, these leggings are Brazilian. Okay. They are from Top, Top Rio. Excellent. They, they call it anti-cellulite, so I love them. They really, they really kind of hold everything in. Although I don't really have a whole lot to hold in, hold in but I like them when they have uh, the booty accentuation. <laughs> My gains. I love these, though. They're pretty sexy. You ladies like it, too. Okay. There is another one we can do. I'll grab this one. This is the medium. I'm going to show you two different. We're going to do push ups with these. Okay. Make sure it's down in the middle of your back. Otherwise, it'll flip. So get it set up properly. See where my elbows are? Okay. You can do either one, but I'm going to do the traditional. Let me move up just a little bit because I can see it's moving. I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to try it this way. Set it up like this instead of over the shoulders. Yes, that's better. Yeah, 
That's the way to do it, guys. See this? Chin if you can. Gives you extra uh, support and um, I mean a resistant. Rest. I can feel it all through here. All through my shoulders. And this muscle. Let me see. You see how I build up this muscle right here? It's the biggest thing that you ladies um, comment on me is that you love my arms. Well, these are some of the things I'm doing. Another one that I do, it's not really up against the wall, but got my booty band. Press. And pressing all the way out. I believe I did a video on this. You can feel it. Does everything engage? Okay. Same position. Move around me like this. Okay. Get up to your wall. Come down. If I had my trainer had me put a, a small ball between my legs, but I don't know if I can use my stability. I can try it. It really kind of work better the other way, but he just wants me to keep everything tight. I'm kind of sinking down into chair. See that? I'm reaching. I'm reaching. I'm gonna sink down a little bit more. A, little, a smaller ball would would help. Maybe a pillow or something. But everything is tight. Relax. Breathe in. Release. Deep breath. Release. I'm squeezing this. And I'm supporting I'm supporting my own weight up against the wall. I want you to do twelve of those times three. <laughs> Grab your stability ball. Again, I'm telling you, everyone needs to own one. I own three. I own three. All right. I have got my booty band on. Hip circle. Using the um, medium. And we are going to do a assisted squat. All right. Got the idea? Down. If, if you put it further down just above your knee you get more of a resistant if you bring it up here you're able to um, work different areas uh, of your muscles of the, uh, the um, quadriceps and the glutes so spread your legs as wide as you can <laughs> no comments and squat. Come up. Come up. Come up. We'll go all the way down. You notice? Everything's straight and tight. That's the name of the game, guys. 
I'm going to kick it up a notch and grab The upper body. How many do we do of these? And how many times? You got it. <laughs> okay, now turn it around. Let me. I'm going to raise this camera up a little bit. Now we're going to do a wall plank. Ha ha ha. On this. Okay. You may start close if you need to. But really, I want your arms length like this. Okay. Right in front of you. See how I've got my hands placed on it? The ball is going to want to do this. We don't want that. We are going to try to hold it in one spot. Okay? Ready? Set. Hold it as long as you can. Lean right into it. Right in front of you. Not up here. Not way down here. Tight core. You can feel everything engaged. I'm actually, I'm actually pushing into the ball, pressing in, holding it. Ideal is to try to hold it for thirty seconds. I can feel it all through here. Rest. Rest, rest, rest. Shake it out. Shake it out. Try it again. Now, now, come on your elbows. Like that. Now I'm even gonna come further, further out for me. I'm pressing right into this ball. My arms are, my elbows are just straight. I mean, every, not way up here and not way down there. Right smack. And you can see the ball is kind of shaking. Yeah. It's because my I'm tight. My arms are, are very tight. See that? See that muscle pop right there? That's what I'm feeling it right in here. Yeah. Yep. Relax. Love these things. Love these things. You can even do it on the floor too, up against a wall. Let me pitch it down. Just like that. A plank. See? Real tight body, like rigor mortis. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Start to move a little bit. See if you got good balance. 
do these. A bit of a challenge because you're working the core and your upper body at the same time. Feel you can do a, a push up. You go for it. I'm gonna go a little bit wider on here. And this ball of mine here. Needs a little bit more air, but that's okay. I can handle it. <laughs> I want to show you one up on the wall here. Actually, you know, as long as I got it down on the ground. How much room do I have in this room? Nah. This is for really to kick it up, okay? Um, and it's going to be kind of. Some of you can do this, maybe, and some of you can't. But you can try. You can try. Try to do this in here. I usually do this at the gym. I swear I do it at the gym. Yes, I am doing this up against the wall. This ball needs more air. So I'm struggling a little bit, a little bit too much because it needs more air. Now I'm really going against body resistant. Yes. You guys got the idea. I have, an actual, I have an actual routine where I actually have two balls up there and roll them out. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, look at my shoulders. It's from doing that. Here's another one for your abs. I'm stepping kind of far out. And rolling up. You can feel this in the shoulders, definitely. Well, I don't know about you, but I am my body, my upper body is rocking and rolling. So thank you for watching this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you try it. Let me try it. Let me try this wall thing one more time. Let me try it one more time. Let me challenge myself. Again, come on. Crash and burn.